All right, welcome back, guys. Let's dive back in. Um, so I took a look um, at the code uh, surrounding test of reflexes, and indeed, um, it does say in the in the pop up uh, event screen, it does say test of reflexes will trigger if you detect traps as well as disarming or triggering them. Um, it did not say that in the little um, queryable section of the test of reflexes. Which leads me to believe probably I, I had added an in as detect and then taken it out and forgot to take out the text for the main body of the text. Um, but uh, just in case, just in case somewhere in the code there was still a place that was you know giving you a reward for detecting them, I thought I'd better institute it for now. So I went through the code and found every place I could think of where you can detect a trap and made sure that uh, it will trigger test of reflexes now. So it should be fixed, not just for that one instance, but there were, I couldn't find a single instance where it was... Uh, triggering with detection, but now it will. Let's hope that's not a mistake. Let's hope it doesn't make the game easier. So I hope there wasn't a logical reason why I said, hey, let's not do this. You know, a year ago, or two years ago, or five years ago, I have no clue. Alright. <clears throat> let's do this right away while we're on the subject, I guess. Better safe than sorry. Not just once, but twice. Alright, we didn't find any booby traps. Odds are there's no booby traps here. Let's try and avoid this dude. This spider. This is also a were spider. We want to avoid him too. He's insectoid slash person, I think, or something. Yeah. Alicanthrop. Let's try and stay away from him. Ring of the Genius. Clearly, with my coding skills, this is not for me, but let's see what it does. Plus 30 intelligence. That's pretty fucking great. Be expert, though, wouldn't it? We'll never be able to use it. Requires expert magic enemy skill. Weakness is a decent um, mid-power spell, and if we're going to look at mid-power spells, maybe we could do this. Permanently halves the max damage value of the monster you're fighting. I mean, you could use that on fucking Zaskazian. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's learn it. We're going to learn um, mid-power spells anyway. High-power scroll. We don't want to use that right now. If we summon something and starts killing all these insectoids, we're going to regret it. Nothing in here. Reign of Scales, Volume 1. Let's learn that right away. Found in the secret compartment. Um, we can learn it. Let's go to the Warrior Skills and look at Dragon Slaying. So that gives us plus 30 to hit versus Worms for the rest of the game, unless we lose that skill somehow. I can't remember if there's any way to lose skills as of yet. There might be eventually. There should be. That's something I could code in, so why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I just piss off the players? Oh, fuck, look at this, eh? So you have the giant spider and a bunch of were spiders. They can have a 20% chance of causing Lycanthropy on hit. They have a 50% chance of causing poison on hit. We're not afraid of the poison. They can lay web. <clears throat> but um, Lycanthropy, as you saw before, could be a... a truly egregious fate. Let's gamble with our one gem. Alright. Got some faith out of it. A staff of clumsiness. We're not good enough as staffs to merit this. It takes up two inventory slots. We'd have a 25% chance of using it successfully. It has three charges. Um, it will have the attack value permanently of the monster you're fighting. If it's successful. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here before these... Fucking... Do I have any traps? Do I have a trap to put out? I think I found one and I didn't take it. Alright, um, let's do this. Let's do... Unpredictable outcome. To either teleport it away or teleport me away. Good, that's what I was hoping for. We're not going to go back over there with all those guys there, so we're not going to use this Wheel of Fortune this time. Although there is a nice uh, smuggler there to use. Our torch just went out. Let's drop it to free up an inventory slot. <clears throat> I should have checked. Yep, our odds of winning are now 74%, because we get an extra 10%, of course, from the uh, lucky coin. I just wanted to make sure that was working. It is. At the very least, in reporting your odds, it is. Sheepskin Jerkin is an improvised armor. You don't need it. 
Can't unlock that. Let's get the magic items inside. <laughs> Small steel shield of poison avoidance. Um, we're not going to use it, but... You can see it would give us um, plus 25% poison resistance. It would have a much better defense. Can't use it anyways. Medium. Um, much better defense than our Alric shield. But not a very good... Um, Poison resistance by comparison. Um, light crossbow. Fuck. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have stuck around just to look at this while I'm letting it fight me and give me lycanthropy potentially. Two handed weapon, distance strike 33%, no strength bonus, does 1 to 19 damage. Don't want it. Let's get the fuck away from this guy. He's running from us, thank god. Oil of fiery burning, that could be useful. Two of those and a shaman's mask. Let's look at the shaman's mask. You may use the Shaman's Mask once per map by left-clicking it, provided your magic enemy skill is at least advanced. Doing so will randomly either restore some hit points, or health points, pardon me, or raise your defense for, for 60 turns. How much health is restored or how much defense is raised depends on your dungeon level. That's kind of interesting. Oil of Fiery Burning. Um, <clears throat> we couldn't use it here. You may use it by left-clicking it if you have basic magic enemy skill. It will turn your square into a huge flame which will block the passage of many monsters and burn most that try to cross. You may not, you will not immediately be burned. It can only be used in an unoccupied, empty space. Let's, um, let's take this one. Fuck you. Oh, damn it, our helmet broke. Pilgrims down in the caverns? And elvish ones at that? Interesting, I, I called them elven pilgrims here and elvish here. I don't know if that matters. It's interesting. It takes all types. Best not to pry too deeply into where their pilgrimage is bringing them, but in the meantime, the mere exposure to so many healthy elvish overlanders has done wonders for your energy levels. All your spell points are restored. Unfortunately, we didn't have any spell points missing. I say unfortunately. Let's deliberately try and break this web. Let's use Oil of Harry Burning here to help keep these guys trapped in that hole. Oh, maybe they weren't trapped in there, dammit. Maybe that's not what we wanted to do that. Maybe they're trapped down here. There's a ghast. has a 30% chance of causing 30 turns of nausea on a hit. <clears throat> but we should be able to kill it pretty easily. Let's just take it out. Oh, fuck, now it made us nauseous. We can't fight or cast spells as long as that lasts. Damn it, this is where we wanted to use the oil. Too late now. Something I can take off Animal skin hood. Large blade trap kit. Let's use this. Oops, not, no, don't drop that. Let's use this to try and take these guys out. Oh, no, they're, they're fucking insectoids. We don't want to do that. Just want to avoid them. Alright, buddy, nothing I can do about it. I think we're just going to get out of here, guys. There's not a lot on this level. There's a little bit of gold here we should try and get, obviously, on the way out. There might have been something over here, but I, I, I thought that was the entrance to this. When I saw the webs, I stupidly thought that. So I thought I was trapping them in, but we actually could have explored over here, but we're not crossing that huge flame to, to find out what's over there. So I guess we're going to leave. Let's grab this gold on the way out. We could use this. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this quick. Let's drop the trident. Let's drop the boiled leather armor. Let's drop the Alrud hide. Let's put both of these remaining, the Spear of Cleaving and the Chunky Surveyor, through the Normwish Automated Armor, with a 75% chance it repairs them. The Spear got fully repaired. And so did it. Okay. Let's put this back on. Damn it, he caused nausea again. Let's at least stick around long enough to kill him. Given he's not a super huge threat. And we can get a little experience off this level at any rate. Better than nothing. No longer feel nauseous. Right, he's dead. What the fuck? I'm not putting that through the, uh, the device. That's too... Uh, that's too dangerous. Um... I could take the other shield, but no, we can't use it anyway, can we? Let's just get off this fucking level. Let's find ourselves a repair. Fuck. We're no longer immune to poison either. Damn it, he's gonna hit us too. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. We could theoretically take him down. But he gets two attacks every turn. He does a fair amount of damage. I don't know, guys. 
I say we just get out of here before we're dealing with the poisoning guys. Kobold hunting party. Considering their size, it's no surprise that kobolds often resort to traps to kill their prey. Judging by the number of kobold footprints you see in the dust, it's clear a large party has passed this way recently. Judging by the furtive closeness of those steps, and the various shovel and pickaxe scrapes, it was almost certainly a hunting party. You should keep an eye open for kobold pit traps here. Uh, what does that mean, precisely? It already happened. When this event occurred, 8 to 12 kobold pit traps were placed at random locations on this map. I know this won't detect pit traps. Let's use it anyway, though. One booby trap. And that's it. Um, hmm. We want to find a way to repair our stuff before we fight too much. You can see our infravision now lets us see extra far, right? Let's just double check how far we can see with our infravision. Yeah, two squares past our sight range, so we can only see to here. But our infravision is picking up these guys out here. The saber toothed tiger, we don't want to fight it right now. We'd have a 100% chance to hit it, it would have a 100% chance to hit us. Does decent damage. Getting to the point where we're no longer, like, <clears throat> outclassing monsters drastically. Maybe if we get our armor up, we'd be okay. Um, a servitor. Every time it hits us, there's a 20% chance we become monster attractant. Well, this is a special servitor. Ravenfoot, servitor champion. She'll drop an item if killed. This is a shackled phoenix. Um, so the phoenix itself is a... Um, a worm. You can see the stats right there. If it's killed, just like the uh, Coffin Dweller we saw way earlier, if it's killed, there's a 50% chance it returns to life. It should say with max health. That is the truth. I should, I should, I'm going to write that down for myself. Not a big deal. It's not a bug. But it's something I never thought to add. Um, I have all the lights off in my room, so I'm writing blind. Coffin slash Phoenix with max health. Just note that for myself. I think I just wrote on my desk. <laughs> um, it is also shackled. Um, it is. It can't leave. You can see a speed is written in red in mobile. It can't leave that square because it's shackled. However, there is a chance it can break the shackles. Um, I didn't have any other place to put this information. So you see next to speed of mobile, 1.5% to break. Every turn, there's a one point. Every time it has a move, there's a 1.5% chance it breaks its shackles and becomes free. But for now. Shackled. Where is my keypad? Here we go. <clears throat> In the darkness. Unknown potion. We don't need that right now. Man. These guys fast as well. The good news is we're still outclassing these everything enough that they're, um, most things are still running from us. Let's find ourselves a fucking... Um, silver. There's probably nothing over here. Except a good way to... Oh! Isn't that interesting? Ah, God, guys. I'm a little ashamed of the number of bugs that are popping up, but they won't be there when we come out of this. Um, look at this. This... This mine track... ends in a wall. It probably starts in a wall, too, which means it's not going to have any mine things on it. Um, I don't think that's intentional. I don't think I made a mine track that was purely decorative. If it does have a minecart, I assume it won't be able to leave. Um, this has to be fixed. Mine track. Let me uh, let me take a look at this, guys. Um, I'm gonna quit and append this to um, well, whatever else. Uh, is there a way to? Fi I don't know how to fix this. To be honest with you, I don't know how to fix this offhand. It obviously knew which direction it was going. There's no point in fixing it right now, because it won't restore the map. Um, I'll just note it for myself, and we'll fix it afterwards. I kind of want to find out if there's any mine... If, if the other end is like this as well, <clears throat> for that matter. This was a raft, but the raft hit the waterfall and broke. Waterfalls um, cause the extra damage and stuff, and they also... Um, create mist around them. There's a giant spine tooth in the water there. Um, again, we don't want to fight it right now. My main quest right now is to find out if this, uh... I'm sure it does. Look at that. How weird is that, guys? I've never seen that before. Have I? I don't think ever. Is there any reason that should be? Does that have something to do with the Kobold Hunting Party event, maybe? I don't know. 
traps, one of those cobalt pit traps. Cobalt pit traps function exactly like normal traps, but every time you step on them, there's a 50% chance they don't fire. They don't have any effect. Let's pull this lever. <clears throat> Let's repair our shit. Everything. Everything's prepared to full. We still have that to repair things again before we leave. Let's go back to the Spear of Cleaving. Let's go kill this giant type to make a Loomis happy. It's a Cyclops. No special abilities. Has very low attack rating compared to normal things because it has no uh, depth of perception. These are a little easier to take on now, the Sabertooth Tigers. Especially that cloak of protection, of course. Although with a number of... Um, let's take a health potion. Unless we're close to leveling up. Uh, let's kill one more of these. Kill more of these first. If we'll use it if we have to. Alright, we don't have to yet. Now we have to. Or else we could die with one more hit. Quite up a level yet? No. Let's go kill the Cyclops and I guarantee we will be. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, excellent. Um, alertness 3. This perk grants you complete immunity to involuntary sleep. Nothing can put us to sleep if we don't want to go to sleep. That's pretty cool. Let's pump this into here. We have two skill points. Um, of course, we can't go above advanced here. I think one of the things, if we haven't got an expert trap setting yet, let's get this to expert for God's sake, so we can use this trap. Um, it's way too late to start pumping up scavenging. Tumbling might be useful on this level especially. We'd take lower falling damage, so we'll take 25% less if we fall in any of those kobold pit traps. Let's do that. With this guy, let's put out this blade trap now. Is it automatic? Are we 100% successful? So there's no more fear. We can't trigger the traps on ourselves. We might as well just do this. Did a lot of damage to it. Didn't kill it. Eat empty space. Am I not in empty space? Oh! You know what that means, guys? That means this is a kobold pit that we are standing on. A kobold pit trap that we did not detect. Um, we didn't trigger it, rather. Let's do that. You know what I am going to do, guys? I'm going to do two things right now. Because I do think we have to we have to test some things. A, a I, I want to fix this, if I can. But B, <clears throat> we do have expert secret detection. Oh. 10% chance to to identify nearby concealed or secret compartments, doors, cave-ins, or buried objects. Oh, I thought it was also pit traps. I really did. Is there no way to increase that? Is that purely a perk you can increase? I was like, why haven't I detected this yet? Interesting. I thought it also detected pit traps. If not, is there not a... There used to be a pit detection thing, I thought. Maybe not. Alright, well, there's no, there's no error here, then. That's a... Uh... Oh, it does say it right there, yeah. Okay, so we have some problems going on right here, guys. Um, oh, no, we don't. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay. Yes, we have problems going on. No, we don't have the first problem I identified. Untrained secret detection grants a 10% chance to identify concealed or secret uh, doors, compartments, cave-ins, or buried objects. Basic secret detection grants a 25% chance to identify nearby pit traps, cave-ins, concealed or secret doors, compartments, or buried objects. Um... Because of our inability to place the trap here, I still suspect this is a kobold pit trap. I could be totally wrong. What I'm going to suggest is we quit and save. I then go step on that square and see if it uh, is a kobold pit trap. Try and, try and deliberately trigger it. Control alt delete out of the game so it doesn't save the fact that we stepped there. Then I go fix that. Uh, we've, we've, we've not detected any pit traps, have we? Maybe I'll just go fix it right now. Okay, guys, we're back.
um, with a good news, bad news, good news situation. Uh, let's start with the good news and see if I can demonstrate the good news. And if I can't, then I'll just explain the good news because it's down to a bit of luck here. Um, let's demonstrate this first good news, hopefully. Oh, fuck, there's a stupid ass... That can't be right. Maybe I'm standing on it now. There it is. Um, so this was a cobalt pit trap. Um, what I did, there was no, there was no error. There was no error whatsoever with secret detection. That was ex working exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, secret detection will detect cavens around you, secret doors around you, etc. Um, but it will only detect pit traps if you actually try to step on them. Then there's a chance that happens there, where it pops up and says, "Hey, there's a freaking trap here. Don't do it." Um, so there you saw it in action, um, and then you can leap across it. Um, so that is why we weren't seeing it before. When we stood stood and passed our turn, you're not going to detect it. You got to actively step in it. And I did that intentionally a, way, a ways back because I wanted it to match the way disarming worked. You can only disarm something by actively trying to trigger it. So there's a risk. I don't want everything to be passive. I don't want the optimal gameplay to be stand here and press five repeatedly and then take a step and stand here and press five repeatedly because that makes the game boring and yet it's the best way to play. And as I've said many many times before, the game designer's job is to make the game fun as long as the person is playing optimally. So there you go. Um, so that's good news. Uh, pit detection, secret detection is working exactly normally. Bad news, I went through the code, man. I cannot find a circumstance that should create this situation. I do note we are on a cellular automata map. I'm guessing it has something to do with that. Cellular automata maps are kind of rare. We don't, we don't experience a lot of them. Um, so it's probably something to do with its code. I even found a section that I thought, th you know, where we are patching back through everything with walls, but it, it shouldn't, uh, mine track shouldn't have been laid down by then, so it shouldn't affect that. <laughs> However, so there's good news, it was this one. Bad news is I can't figure out why this is happening. Good news is, regardless of why it's happening, I put in a new catch. So it shouldn't ever happen again. As soon as it makes the mine track, it now records. It doesn't just turn this into a mine entrance and a mine exit, which is what it always did. It also records separately in, a, in another bit of uh, data where it put the mine entrance and where it put the mine exit. And then when it's done generating the map, it goes through and says, hey, wherever we put those, make it to a mine entrance and a mine exit. So if it does paste over it with wall, it should fix it. Um, if it still happens, I don't know what to say. We'll figure it out again then. But hopefully that problem is now repaired. Corpse form spellbook will never get cast this, will we? This is a high power necromancy spell. It costs 70 spell points. It would give us plus 30% physical resistance for the next 90 turns. We'd take 30% less damage from any physical source, which would be pretty fucking awesome. Um, but A, we're, we only have one more spell to learn. I don't think we're ever going to learn high power spells. That's almost certainly off the table. Let's just drop it for now. Uh, let's carry it for now, I guess, but I'm not expecting to ever use it. That was a uh, rusted door, by the way, guys. That's a mid-ground. We, we saw heavy doors earlier. We saw stone doors earlier. Rusted doors are the middle ground. They're not as hard to open as stone doors, but they are harder to open than heavy doors. The phoenix obviously got out of his shackles. He's flying around. Let's go kill the saber-toothed tiger as best we can. All right. Oh, I forgot about our hunting skill. Of course, we have advanced hunting skill. Every time we kill an animal, there's a 20% chance we fully heal. That's uh, worth worth doing as often as we can. Let me turn off the light in this room now, guys. It's a little bright for me. <clears throat> I don't know if we've seen a we haven't seen a wheel of fortune, I don't think. Let's do a quick check. I don't want to mess with that Phoenix at all. With a fifty percent chance oh fuck me. A it could set us on fire. It does fire damage. And with a 50% chance it comes back to life when we kill it. Oh, well, I guess we're going to kill it now. We've almost got it. And it knows it. <laughs> Damn it, it just came back to life with full health. I forgot to fix that, by the way. Forgot to fix the full health bit. It's as fast as we are, so getting away from it's almost impossible. Alright, it's dead, dead. Let's go drop this off again. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of different styles of map generation. There's the original Caverns of Zeskazian map generation, which is not that great. Oh, that guy fell in the water. He broke the uh, bridge. Now he's swimming. Um, 
there's a whole bunch of different types of map generation. There's the original kind from Caverns, which is a weird, makes kind of like a blast crater you explore. But I kept it in for A, because it is interesting in its own right when you when you populate it with, you know, items and stuff. And B, because um, tradition, you know. There's this kind, cellular automata. There's uh, BSP room partitions, which are my favorite, where they make, you know, interesting interesting areas, um, including rounded rooms and triangular rooms and all that kind of crap. And then there is um, mazes of all different types, including you can generate forests and and yeah, true mazes and mazes with different types of partitions and blah blah blah. I should probably kill the saber tooth tiger first because um, this thing, if it uh, hits me, can make me monster attractive, which not only makes monsters know where I am, but also gives us like minus ten to hit and and all monsters plus ten to hit or something something like that. Minus ten to hit, minus ten defense. I guess it gives me because you're, like, covered in a sticky goo. But, whatever. Let's kill this guy. We might have to take a, uh, our other healing potion. We still have one, right? Yeah. I should have used the large blade trap on him, but he's, uh, as fast as we are. Let's see if he comes back towards us. Alright, let's do it. Let's put it out. Come on, buddy. Let's hope he comes back. <laughs> or else I just wasted that thing. Come on back, buddy. I'm not scary. I'm just a meek little half-elf. Come on, you're almost there. He's scared of me. Come on back. Damn it, he got around it. And now he's scared again. Come on, buddy. There we go. We hit him. Didn't kill him. I'd like to finish using this. Regardless, I should be taking this... Um, I'm going to take this huge health potion right now because there are kobold pit traps out here and if we don't detect them, we can step on them. Uh, we can just be dead, you know? There we go. We got it with the blade trap. We still have one more use in that. We'll use it on whatever else we see next. Let's go drop this gold off. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got it. There, it's dead. Good stuff. Open this desk. Lots of gold. Let's go talk to Alimus. Sure she'll be happy to see us. Let's take this route. It gave me a long way around because that iron door, the rusted door, would have been possibly tricky to open, but I doubt it's as tricky to... won't waste as much time as going all the way around. And time is, as you see, of the essence. Small steel shield? Let's carry it for... No, we can't ever use it. It's a medium uh, shield. No point in carrying it at all. Bearskin vest... Gives us 25 defense, improvised breastplate, it's at 4% condition, let's drop it. There you go. Detected another one of those. I should make it not wait for that little sound effect to clear before you can pass your, uh, before you can tell it okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Drop this sheepskin jerkin. Freeze trap kit, let's carry that. Unknown potion for now, we'll carry that. Can't use the nasal helm. Yeah, you can see the okay doesn't manifest until the sound stops. Let's, let's get rid of that. Uh, note it for myself as well. My, my pad of paper is like covered in random scrawls. I forget what the hell I wrote down recently. Um, detect sound. Wait. Let's write that and hopefully I'll remember what that means. I'll say there's a 70% chance I remember what that means when the time comes. If not, I can always watch the video back, can't I? Where the hell am I? Alright. Nope. Nope. Create cooking fire. Let's learn that. Be our last spell we can learn, but fuck it. Medium um, powered spell. Mid power pyromancy. 55 spell points. It creates a cooking fire in your square. Now, if you were somebody who is training up cooking, which maybe we'll do now, at least a little bit, that can be fucking powerful. You find meat, you don't have to look for a cooking fire, you don't have to carry it for long, you just create a fire at your feet and use it, you know? Let's use this on the way by in case we don't come back. 
Venting is of no concern to us. We can't be poisoned. Alright, everything's fine. I'm hoping to, um, I've seen some people, you know, in, in times of yore. Um, I don't want to risk getting diseased to look and see what's in there, so let's leave that alone. I've seen some people talking about, you know, how it's... You only have so many skill points, and it's so necessary. You have to get death cheating. You have to get self-awareness. You have to protect yourself from all these things. You don't have to protect yourself from everything, as you've seen. We were, like, dungeon level 16, or maybe 17, before we even bothered getting the first level of death cheating. Self-awareness and, and willpower I've only taken because, coincidentally, I've had the books for it and stuff, but, um... These are not, you know, absolutely necessary things to do. I'm going to try and get this treasure. We're drowning when we hop in the water here. Let's die for the treasure. We're going to take another, um, 11 damage from that. But, we got the gold. 17 gold pieces probably wasn't worth it. Uh-oh, earthquake. The earth is shaking. Do you think you can hide in the shadows or underground? Festone has made this world and he can break it. Earthquake functions pretty much like a, um... As if you triggered a cave-in. I think you even have the same chance of stopping it with mining skill. I think. Alright, we're out of here. I think that's the end of it. But let's cast a bunch of spells. There was no other way to heal ourselves in this level that I'm forgetting, was there? I don't recall one. Go for another 30 minutes and we'll call it there, guys. If we're still alive. I have a good feeling about this, but I always have a good feeling when I start doing well, and, and it never pans out. Well, not never. It pans out about 1 in 30 or 1 in 40 times. Where I think, hey, I'm going to win this one for sure, and then something goes terribly wrong. But that's the nature of roguelikes, of course, isn't it? We got a little more space to heal. Let's just keep healing. Let's use our spell points for that. I got nervous there. I thought maybe the map generation froze, but nope. Meeting of minds. Sometimes even monsters can see reason. Or be cowed. Whatever the rationale, one particular group has softened in its stance toward you substantially. Your relationship has improved with aberrations. Go and ruin it again. Basic smithing. You've created a weapon. We created a scythe. Let's take a look at that in a second. Advanced armor smithing. Steel buckler. Let's take a look at all this stuff. And let's also look at our relationship with um, aberrations. Make sure that worked. Yep all the way back to indifference. There's usually a sound effect that plays, like if you, if you triggered that in some other way. It doesn't seem to play there. Let me write that down for myself as well. SFX meeting of minds. Should I add in that sound effect? That's supposed to play when your, improve, your relationships improve. Alright, we're carrying the steel buckler. Let's take a look at the uh, scythe and see if we want to use it or not. It's a mid-powered axe, medium axe. has a minus 42 to hit. But you do 1 to 41 damage with it. It's also two-handed. I don't want to use that. We're using our shield. Could pray here. She loves us. Taltia Ward loves us. 100% chance of success. We'd get, we'd get 10 attribute points. But it would cost us a little bit with our goddess. Now, it wouldn't cost us that much. 10 attribute points is probably worth pissing her off a little bit, right? What do we lose if we do it? We'll lose 20 faith. 20 faith and, and her relationship with us would drop from 99%. Or 100% to 99%, I imagine. Let's do it. Sorry, Alumis. I'm praying to tell Tia Ward. Oh, we didn't even need to use her. Maybe, maybe we did need to use her incense. Maybe that's why it was 100% um, chance. Um, of course, our incense of meditation gave us 100% chance. Alright, she's pleased. We gained 10 attribute points. Let's pump it into whatever's lowest. Intelligence. Even though we don't really... Well, gets us extra skill points. Just... I wasn't clear earlier. When you level up... It takes what your current intelligence is and puts it into a behind-the-scenes pool. When that pool has 300 points in it, you gain an extra skill point. So if you can get to 300 intelligence, every time you level up, you'll get a bonus skill point. These are Strangler Vines. Um, they could kill us instantly. 12% chance they kill us instantly when they hit us. I'll probably ignore them. They're, they're immobile. Um, I probably won't mess with them at all. Behind Steel, I don't think this matters for us. Learn armor use skill to the basic level. We already have it at the basic level. Did 
There is at least, um... Let's kill this thing, a Spectre, if we can. I'll tell you what I was going to say in a second. It takes a lot of, uh, has a lot of resistance. Let's get off it for a second. Do the freeze trap. Made her happy. Um, it's frozen, so it can't move for a while. And while it's frozen, I think there's a 50% chance it takes freezing damage every turn. Oh, it shouldn't be able to move, should it? Oh, no, that's not what it is. Freezing doesn't freeze you in place anymore. That's, that's paralyzation. Um, freezing makes you move uh, slow. It's like a 50% chance you can't leave your square when you try. I just wanted to keep it different from paralyzation. Come on, buddy. Um, I forget what I was going to tell you. That's used last, so we don't have any more. Let's just kill it then. I forget what I was going to tell you. I had something to tell you earlier, and I forgot what it was. The cost of these goes up with your depth. Now it costs 90 gold pieces to use them. I very seldom use them, which may be... Either I haven't appreciated how great they are, or or they're not that great. Um, let me know your thoughts below. Do you, When you play the game, do you use the uh, mystery boxes ever? Obviously, they can give you incredible things, but they won't necessarily give you incredible things, so it's quite a gamble with your money, at least beyond the first or second level it is. Here, we detected a cave-in. Our only way onward is to leap across this, so I guess it's time to do so. We can't get poisoned, so what do we care? It's a snake bit. If we fall in, it's not going to hurt us. And we jumped over it anyway. Let's not use this yet. We're on another, um... Well, let's use it now, because we might fall through. We'll probably fall through here. We're on another cellular automata, so it'd be nice if we could see a, uh... a mine track, but... we'll see what happens. Let's repair the spear. And the alroot hide. And the boiled leather. And the chunky cervalier. And the trident. Oh, it's already fixed. And the steel buckler. Might as well. That's already fixed. This is crumbling floor. Oops. Get out of here. Um, unless you're flying, entering the square leaves a percent chance equal to one half the number of inventory slots you have filled. That the floor will collapse, dumping you into a new random map one level lower and causing three to nine damage for each ten levels deep you are. Uh, most non-flying monsters will not enter Crumbling Floor and have a percent chance equal to half their level of falling through if they do. For us, there's a 9% chance every time we step on this that it's going to collapse under us. And we'll take 5 to 14 damage. Why only... A 34% chance of 5 to 14 damage. Let me, let me figure out why this is. 5 to 14 instead of um, 6 to 18 is because we have Tumbling Skill. Right? We have this... We have this to the basic levels. So we take less damage from falling. Why a 34% chance? I'm not seeing any inventory items I can think of that would give us... Oh, yes, of course there is. What am I thinking? I know exactly why. Because of Find Where I Am Level 2, this perk grants a 66% chance to avoid being involuntarily moved to a new map when dungeon level lower. So if we do fall, 9% chance it breaks. If it breaks, there's only a 34% chance we actually fall. And if we fall, we take less damage. But still, I don't want to, don't want to be on it any longer than I have to. Anything on these shelves? Got a prayer of purity, which we'll never use, probably. Let's just drop it. It's a Fomorian prayer, so it's a good prayer. It would piss her off. Piss off a limus. Prevent us becoming poisoned in any way for 90 turns. But right now, at least, our, um... Allroot shield does better than that. This guy's flying, so he can't break these things. I want to get off of this. Here's a little spot that's space. Safe, let's just stand here and let him come to us. He's not gonna, is he? Let's try and progress further. I broke. Oh, apparently we fell. There you go. Another cellular automata level. Created splint mail, which we cannot use. We have no wands or stabs or rods. You can use these to recharge stabs, wands, or rods back to six charges. Um, we don't have any to do so, though. Acidic vapor coming off the acid river here is a bed there. 
because only one thing can occupy a square at a time in terms of a fixture, at least for now, um, the acid vapor cannot spread to that bed. You're magically safe from it there. The best defense volume 2 might be worth keeping. Oh, we already have it. Teaches dodge skill to level 2. We already have it. Let's kill this as soon as we can. A fear Derig has a 15% chance of laying a booby trap in an unoccupied square. This and this are probably both booby traps. Let's get this gold. Let's let this guy come on to us. Let's try and kill him. Let's, not, let's try to remember not to pick up anything in this region. Like anything in this immediate vicinity. These three are probably all traps from him. Given how early we were in the level, he wouldn't have laid anything else yet, so that's probably it. That is a red stained fungus. It's immobile, so we don't have to fight it. If it does hit us, there's a 20% chance it causes red stained fugue. I don't want to mess with it right now. Lamp oil, we'll carry it for the moment. No, we'll carry the candle instead for the moment. Now, you can see, a candle doesn't give you much. It increases your sight range by one um, over your base sight range of five. But because we're so deep, our base sight range is actually lower than that. Watch how much it lights up when we light this thing. You can see quite a bit further with the candle, so we'll use it for now. Nothing there. As you get deeper, having a light source certainly becomes more valuable. Early on, it's not that big a deal. What's in the cabinet? Unknown potions. No. Nope. And let's see what he's got for sale. All can be yours. You've spent some time in these caverns, I can tell. But it's not over, is it? The great thing about these magic items is they'll keep you on your toes. So many varieties, each as different from the last as a kobold from a troll. Wow, the cup of sense and V. High power magic, we can never use it. Only cost 50. You can use it by left-clicking it, provided your magic item your skill is expert. Doing so will have a 90% chance you're cured of all diseases and regain 50, 5 to 20 health. But a 10% chance the cup is destroyed and you gain a random disease instead. It's kind of like carrying around a permanent um, permanent uh, shrine of a Vian shrine with you that you can use over and over again and where Sense of V likes you to 90%. Self-replicating coin might be better than the unknown potion for now, or steel buckler, I guess. As long as it remains in our inventory and our magic enemy skill is at least basic, we get 1 to 100 gold pieces at the start of each new map. It's not bad. At this stage in the game, it's not as... Nah, let's drop this. No, let's drop the spell book. We're never learning that. Let's gain this back. Oh, we didn't buy it from him, did we? I don't want anything from you. Where are you? Come here, quick. Buy this from him. Alright, next are 1 to 100 gold pieces at the start of every map. We may not even carry that for that long. What is this? This is a skulking thing. It's a goblinoid. Every time it hits us, there's a 50% chance it does double damage. So instead of doing a 4 to 12, occasionally it does 8 to 24. Actually, half the time it does like 8 to 24. No, 50% more, not doubles. No. Okay, yeah, you can see down below its odds. 84% for 6 to 18. I don't know if that's entirely accurate or not. Um, I know what I was trying to do there. I was trying to reflect the, the fact that there's only a 50% chance it could double the damage. As well as the fact that... It could double the damage, so it normally does 4 to 12. 50% of another 4 to 12 is 6 to 18, so it would average 6 to 18 damage, but it could do more than that. That might be confusing. I should probably think about um, changing that. Oh no, I, that's not even it. I totally understand what's happening. My apologies. Uh, the 6 to 18 is because it uh, hates us. It's a goblinoid and we have hatred or sworn enemy status or whatever it is, so they do 50% extra damage. That's what that is. So it could actually do... 12 to 36, 50% of the time. I get what it's doing there. It almost killed us. It almost killed us. Let's, um... I was kind of cavalier about that, and I shouldn't have been. That was a mistake. Let's go use this. Golden Throne. It's a Golden Throne. Um, if we sit on it, either nothing happens, or it's a Royal Golden Throne, where we gain experience equal to 300 times the dungeon level, which would be 5,700 experience, or it's cursed, and we will lose 2 to 20 from our strength, our dexterity, our intelligence, or our max health. Let's risk it. 
All right, 5,700 extra experience. That'll help. That healed us all the way. Um, all right. Disturbed ground three, we get an extra 75% chance to detect any adjacent to buried object. Hasn't come into play very often yet. I'll keep putting up whatever's lowest, I guess. One skill point. Man, where are we going to spend it? Cartography might not be the worst. Oh, let's do this before we forget. Keep forgetting, man. One booby trap right there. And another two booby traps. One of them which was there, and the other one of which I don't know where it was. Probably there. Uh, we didn't detect that one. Which may mean it's not a booby trap, or may mean... We used to detect it. Um, I'm a little afraid of this fucking thing right now, man. It can do a lot of damage to us. Like, a lot. It could kill us. <sighs> we're not in perfect shape, that's for sure. If we're going to face it, we should probably use... Let's use Second Chance. And Luck in Battle. I would also use Instant, instant Karma, but I actually want to save 200 so we can do... Um, so we can do frickin' Destiny, if worse comes to worse. Ouch, 26 damage it did. It is tearing us down, man. Fuck. We have a ghost over here. It can, um, go through walls. Can't pass water or ice. Spirit. Not that hard for us to kill. Let's go kill it. Or try to. It also has 80% physical resistance, so we're not doing much damage to it with our, with our sword or whatever the hell we're using our, our spear. Almost dead though. We're not that far from another level up, so I'd like to. I don't, I'm afraid to pick that up. What if it's a trap? I just did. It's a good way to wear down a spear, unfortunately. <laughs> Whatever. I have to mention our armor. All right, we're actually again. If you press B or if you use the um, the option menu, you can turn that blood pulse effect off. But I like leaving it on because it helps me remember. Hey, dude, there's danger afoot. I'm a little nervous, guys. All it takes is one fucking pit trap, and we could be dead at this point. Let's try and get up a level as fast and safely as we can. For now, by pulling um, gold over to the temple. Do we still have a skill point? Yeah. Maybe I will... This isn't going to help us with this ghost, but let's take dodge. Give us an extra 15 defense. Our defense is always going to be kind of low, because, of course, the game is calibrated to assume you're improving your armor as you go. Characters who can't improve their armor are eventually going to fall behind. So you want every, every excuse you can or every way you can avoid getting hurt in combat to, to keep going with you. That's one of those ways. If we switched over to distance strike weapons, obviously that would help a lot. I could start picking this shit up. Let's see what's beyond this, um, this door. Anything on the shelf? No. We haven't found anything on a shelf yet, have we? Oh yeah, we did once. We found a book or something on one. Can't pick that lock. And I'm afraid to go this far. There is a, um... A layer exit there. Let's... W ah, fuck. We use 600 experience, guys. It's not a small amount. Let's wait here for a moment. Let's see if we can get this acid vapor to clear. It's kind of dangerous standing here. It could reform on us. Yeah. Maybe we should have gone when we had just one in the way instead of three in the way. Let's go see if we can kill this ghost. Odds of it killing us are still... Uh, it's a different ghost, damn it. Alright, let's 
just pick something up. Odds are if it's a trap, we'll disarm it, right? Small sack, let's take that. Drop the disarming tools for one second. Small sack has nothing in that bottomless fucking backpack we found, but it does give us three extra inventory slots. So it fills one, and then we get three more. Pick up the disarming tools. We have now two slots to carry stuff. It's a little better than nothing, right? Small sack's better than nothing. What am I doing? Amaze your friends. Diluted poison won't help us against these guys. We could use this once. Doing so will grant us a 50% chance of mildly poisoning any monster we hit for the next 60 turns. Let's carry it for now. Let's go see if by any chance this thing over here is a fucking health potion. Oh, Jesus. I don't know, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. We haven't got an easy way... Let me turn this off for a second. We haven't got an easy way to um, heal ourselves right now. We kept dropping health potions in favor of other things. <sighs> we could, of course. Amaze your These guys could kill us now with a single hit. If they did ten or more damage. We can't poison them. They're 100% immune to poison. Um, this thing's 50% immune to poison, so it's not, not useful against it either. We have a bunch of options. Well, you know what? Let's do this first, obviously. Let's, do, let's use the first option that is obvious to us. Let's go over here. Cast this as much as we can. We do have a lot of spell points. Even though we haven't bothered getting our Thaumaturgy skill up, our intelligence is high enough that we have a fair number of spell points. Blur won't help against them. They've already only got a 10% chance to hit us, so... Staff of Blinding Flashes. What does that do? If successful, the monster you're fighting will be blinded for 60 turns, wandering randomly and having its attack value. That won't help us against these guys, because having their attack value will still leave them a 10% chance to hit. Otherwise, I'd be like, hey, let's do that. Could use it against this guy, but I don't want to risk getting um, Red Stain Fugue. Not yet. If we do kill it, it's worth 250. If we kill both of these guys, we'll be very close to leveling up. Let's keep trying. Starting with the guy we've already hurt. Ugh. Fuck this ghost. Ouch! Can't kill us with a single hit yet. Let's put back on the blood pulse in a minute. I can hear it, I just can't see it. Of course, if we kill them both, we, um... Oh my god. Okay, now we gotta start casting light healing again. We'll get all of our health back when we level up. That one's dead. It now has plus 20 to hit us. Still, even with plus 20 to hit us, it doesn't matter. It still has a low enough attack value, and our, our defense is so high. Our defense is 173. Um, its attack is 155. Yeah, so our, our defense is literally higher than its attack. It would need at least um, 174 attack. Is that right? No, it would need like 184 attack. 185 attack. 184 attack to get to 11% uh, chance to hit us. Let's keep casting all this shit while we're standing here. Do the best we can. All right, I'm going to suggest we quaff the unknown potion in the hopes there's a mage potion, which will help us get uh, spell points back to um, kill it faster or heal ourselves faster, or that it's some other, you know, something useful. It's not. It's fucking disease, contracted fragilitis. Ouch. Our lowered strength requires us to use a lighter weapon and lighter armor and a lighter helmet. So we no longer are strong enough to wield anything we have, except for the Alrut Hide Shield. Let's get away from this fucking ghost now. I was wrong, by the way. It doesn't, um... It doesn't automatically round down. It rounds, like, off damage. 
Um, we were talking about that many episodes ago. Let's grab this and this, and hope that one of these heals us. Or gives us back spell points. I'd rather the, uh... Alright, there we go. The disease is gone. We can put back on this. Nope. Although right now, yeah. Slightly better to... Oh, it doesn't really matter. At least it won't wear that thing down. Sure, let's go to this for a moment. Let's also drink this, in the hopes that it gives us our spell points back. Nope. Another restorative potion. Ouch, fuck. Okay, good. You're frozen, you remain frozen for zero turns, i.e. this is our only term of frozen. While frozen, you only have a 50% chance to leave your square normally, and a 50% chance to take cold damage, equal to 5% of your max health each turn. Taking any fire damage will remove this effect immediately. But we're no longer frozen. Fuck. This was our plan, guys. We have five health left. I don't think our plan is working. At this stage, our safest bet, as much as I hate it, all right. Let's let's do this. There's several things I'm going to suggest we do. Let's get this. Let's um let's head down. We'll immediately get all our spell points back, assuming we, the stairs don't collapse and kill us. Um, then we can start healing again. Is our best bet. Alright, we get 76 gold from our self-replicating coin. We created a dagger. You looking to sell something? There's a smuggler. It's good to know. But uh, we don't need him. Let's drop the dagger. Alright, let's start casting fucking healing. We don't still have the incense, do we? We could also try this. 71% chance we, if we pray here, we're healed fully. 29% chance we are instantly killed. But of course, if we do k get killed... We then have the Cracked Halos. Let's do that right now. Alright. Fully healed. What do we have here? Uncooked Mutton. Let's go use that right now. Eat it to get one Strength Upgrade permanently. Large Health Potion. We are definitely keeping that. A Makeshift Bow. It's an improvised bow. 1 to 10 damage, distance strike. Kind of crappy. This would be useful if we hadn't already uh, taken all our spells. Mid-power spell, 50% chance of charming any person-type monster in our square. Lantern is better than our candle, ultimately. In terms of seeing distance. Let's go ahead and use it for now. We've obviously reached a stage where the monsters are competitive again. You gotta be very careful. This is all frigid water. In addition to uh, drowning and stuff, you can, you know, be frozen. This is just standard water. You looking to sell something? Let's not cross it until we have to. Let's leap this. Ugh, or try. 23 damage from falling in. No, we don't want any more of that. I pay in gems. We can't move on diagonal, so we can't get through that little uh, crack there. What is this? The fuck is this? Oh, makeshift door. I haven't seen these very often. Forgot I made them. This square is passable to you and most monsters, though so some will be blocked by it. It also blocks line of sight. The first time you or any monster enters it, it will be converted to a removed makeshift door, which is passable to all and no longer blocks line of sight. They may not be locked, they may not be barricaded. There is a 1% chance any makeshift door may be trapped. I'm going to step on it anyway, despite that risk, just to show you. Functions like a normal door, except for once you open it once, it's permanently open. Kind of neat. Some monsters are blocked by doors, so. Just a little bit of variation. It's like a, it's like a, I picture it like a canvas hide, some sort of hide, you know, tied to some bamboo poles that's like laid over an opening. Uh, the curtain, similar to a door, it blocks line of sight, but it doesn't block anything from passing through. Jabberwock, you may know what that is. There was a raft. The raft drifted into the dragon boat and got destroyed. The dragon boat itself is still alive. Dragon boats are the best boat there is because they don't drift in currents. You can just automatically move through water as if you're, you know, moving through empty space when you're in one of those. Let's use this. Let's use this right away and hope to God it um, summons a monster to fight for us. Let's see if that works. No, agility. Our dexterity is raised by 50 for 30 turns. Let's get the diluted poison. Let's go kill this while our dexterity is up. Let's go 
deal with this thing, too. This is a Shambler. It's an aberration giant type, so our god will like it when we kill it. We'll hit it easily, right now. Um, every hit it does is 50% likely to lower our max health, every point of damage it does. So if it hurts us, there's a 50% chance that the damage it applies doesn't come off our um, health, it comes off our max health. Although, all the usual self-awareness and that can help prevent that. It's not immune to poison. Let's use our diluted poison. We're mildly venomous. Try and hit it once to poison it. Okay. Let's get away from it for now, and hopefully it'll just die over time if we're lucky until the poison runs out on it. Skeetum will never be able to use. It's a medium shield. It gives base 42 defense. Unknown potion we don't need that right now. Let's not use this right now. As you can see, there could be all kinds of liquors in it. If it's a grog, that could be really useful if, um... Well, it could be useful early on. It's probably not that useful at this stage in the game. Let's chisel our way through this. Alright. Large blade trap. Yes, please. We should probably call it quits here, guys. I'm just realizing um, how late the um, how late in the uh, recording we've gotten here. Let's just drop this. I'll call it right here. Um, when we return tomorrow, because we are still going strong. What dungeon level are we at? We're at 20. We're two-thirds of the way down to the bottom of the dungeon, guys. Still holding our own, but things are getting dicey. We'll have to rely on traps as much as we can to try and kill off things where we get the chance. Um, but yeah, we, we poisoned that thing. Hopefully it does some damage to it. We can get the large blade trap out to finish it off without having to deal with it ourselves. Get out to that dragon boat that'll allow us to explore the water in full. Well, we'll see what happens. we got a lot of options. Alright, let's call quits for now. Quit and save, yep. Quit, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back soon. No, I don't want to exit. I don't want to stop recording. What have I done?